Hello, Don. This is Mike Fortner. Just looking over your main post here. I really like how you separated these things out, uh, and, I, and I wanted to capture all that as well. Um, one thing that I'd like to point out is when you when you add uh, velocity to uh, a moving source, or when the, or when the observer is moving toward the um, the source of the sound. You're effectively adding energy to that sound, that which ordinarily would one would think you would you would increase the velocity of the sound, but because in a sound wave, the, the actual velocity of the sound is governed by the material. Therefore, you can't uh, add any velocity to it. It's still coming at you 300 and some meters per second, um, but it's it's changing uh, it's changing its energy because it's adding energy to it on the other hand if you're going away from from if it's going away from you it's taking away that but it's still traveling in the air at 340 meters per second or whatever it is um i did uh, want to uh, comment on your last paragraph uh frequency shift is observed and in, in electromagnetic spectrum due to motion of a train are we talking then about um, radar or something because that's not what's what caused Doppler shift in the in what, we, what we're discussing here. Doppler shift in sound is just due to the Doppler shift in sound, and I'm not quite sure where you were going with that. If you want to comment on that, maybe get back with me. I'd appreciate it.